All right, what's going on, friends? In this video, I am going to be taking this big chunk of metal back here. It's a big piece of angle. Yeah, here's a piece of it. I'm going to take this. I don't know how long that is. That's probably a good 10 or 11 foot long. And I'm going to cut some pieces off that's going to match this exhaust height. So it's going to match that height. And I'm going to make my exhaust out of this angle, which is, I think, really close to 5 16th of an inch thick, just a little over a quarter inch. That way, when I run my used oil burner over there, I don't have to worry about my exhaust burning up when I get it really, really hot. And then I think even right at the top of the exhaust, I'm going to build something above that, something like that, so the flame will come up and hit this metal and maybe disperse a little to the right, left, and up. I might even put a little hole so some goes up. That way it'll help because right now it's beating the top of my wood burner up, which is, is metal or steel, but I don't think it's as thick as that steel, and I don't want to ruin my wood burner. That and I definitely know I'll be able to burn this way hotter. I'm going to use my new Vivor. Vivor. Is that how you say that? Plasma cutter, which is... I already have one little video on this. This thing is quite awesome, way easier to cut steel. I'll show you that here in this video. If you didn't see my other video, you can check one of these out. I'll put one down in the description. It works awesome. So I'm going to do some of that. And I'm going to use my, my old school Lincoln welder back here to do some welding. And I pretty much suck at welding. So if you see any of my welding in this video, don't get all wound up. I'm not going to teach you how to weld because I really suck. Let me get to building this, and then we're going to light that thing off in the end and see how hot I can run it. And hopefully it doesn't look as scary as it did in past videos. All right, looks like the air compressor is about 55 to 60 PSI. Turn this baby on. We're going to pump this up to, I think, about 42 amps. 43, I don't know, something like that. That looks good. Oh, and I forgot I am making this a little shorter than that three inch pipe and the little piece on the bottom. Cause I want this to just stick up out of my, or just stick into my wood stove. So let's go, hopefully this will work. <sighs> oh, let me get some gloves on. I don't want to burn my hands. I'm all about safety. I want to be safe. So they don't burn my garage down. this back before I burn my mat. <laughs> what the heck did I miss? Oh, there we go. I need a bigger bench. See, that doesn't cut too bad after I banged off some of the slag that was hanging off there. Not for a little cheap Plasma cutter. I'm happy with it. <sighs> Hopefully that's close enough. 44 and I turned my air up. Drop down on me. Nice and straight. Look at that cut. Look at that. That's crazy. Good enough for me. Loosen this clamp up. Put it on there like that. If I don't burn my wood up. Okay, burning my wood up. Guess I should have been over a little bit. We'll just put some metal there. How about that? Somebody send me a chipping hammer. Holy crap. I like it. I think that's a little brown. It kind of got a little hot. Oh, perfect. That's three inches. 
That's like 2 and 15 sixteenths. That's what I want. All right, I got everything cut. Now I'm just getting ready to get my surface ready to weld. Makes a nice, nice square. Put them together right. See? Nice square. All right, all right, I got it all clamped up. Hopefully I don't mess this up too bad. Why is my screen not working? All right, round two. My batteries were dead in my helmet. I was trying to go blind. That looks beautiful. All right, I got my new exhaust all finished. That should be able to take a lot more heat than this one. And the welding sucks. But hey, you gotta start somewhere. I don't think it should fall apart. Let me clean my oil burner up. I'm gonna put this on and we'll light her off and see what it looks like. All right, I'm getting there. I did add a little piece here at the end. I think it sticks out maybe three quarters of an inch. Doesn't really matter to you guys, but I added that on. Covers up where my exhaust is gonna be coming out of my burn pot there. Let me get this put together and I'll show you what it looks like. And my welds suck. All right, I got my new exhaust made up for my oil burner. Let me show you that real quick. All right, it looks like this down here. And it's probably not gonna look like that too long, but I just kind of ground down all there was some paint on that metal and I didn't want all that paint to smoke my whole garage out. And then it comes out the top like this, real nice. I think I can still put an elbow on that later. Somehow, I have to figure that out. That's gonna be another video. Then. I did make a cute little house, almost looks like a house. That's gonna go in here, like this, like that. Now my flame will come up, hit inside of that, instead of beating the top of my wood burner up. And I don't know what's gonna happen, it's gonna shoot out the sides or something, I don't know. We're gonna light it off. Yeah, I'm gonna light this up and see what happens with that. If I wanna, I don't know, change this little, I don't know if I wanna shorten this up a little bit or change this a little bit, or, but I wanna try it like that first and see what happens. All right, I think I'm ready to light this thing off and we'll see how my new exhaust is and my little house flame deflector thing is I built. I'm putting some oil in there right now. I need to put a little more diesel in there to help light this. They don't spill it. I just built a little. Let's put my little flame deflector in there. I think my next build is going to be that 90 degree elbow. I think I'm about to build myself one to shoot that flame over there. And I want to put that steel, a steel can in there with aluminum cans in it and see if it melts them. But all right, let's get this thing lit up. You've never seen me like this. You just gotta put a little oil down in there and a little diesel down in there. Not gas, diesel. Diesel's not near as flammable as gas. I mean, I'm not letting this thing burn without me here. I have a fire extinguisher right over here behind me. So, okay. Let's get this thing lit up. Ah, I think we got her. Another, a couple other comments. People said I, they think I need more air in here. So I haven't really done that yet, but one thing I wasn't doing is I had my air in my wood burner here all the way shut off. So I'm gonna open this air all the way up. Maybe that will help get this flame completely burned up so I have perfectly clear smoke coming out of my chimney. I think I'll be able to run the, the blower a little harder right now because I won't be so scared with that flame hitting that flame deflector instead of beating at the top of my wood burner. I'm gonna leave this open right now. So far I like it. I wonder if I should cut just one little hole at the top of that 
So then you'd see a flame to the left, flame to the right, and a little bit of a flame to the top. All right, let me turn this fan on. I'm going to give it a little oil. All right, turn the fan up. Oh, i got to plug my fan in. Now she's ripping. I'm going to pretty much keep it on a low, low fan right now until this thing gets really hot. Then it pulls a lot harder up the chimney. Because I've had other people say they were worried about getting carbon monoxide and fumes in here, but those holes that you see in there more so pull air in than put shoot air out. There's so much pull and so much heat in here, it's pulling it out my exhaust. And it's all it does is suck air in there. I don't think I have to be worried about that blowing fumes out. Oh, that's that's going to be so much better. All right, so far it definitely seems way safer than it was with that thin walled pipe when I had it built with this. This is just that pellet stove pipe like I showed you, or if you watched any of my the beginning videos when I first built this. But now I definitely think I need to. I don't know. It doesn't. I don't think it's making the top of my wood burner saw because that flame ain't hitting it. Or maybe I should make my flame deflector like a lot higher. So it's almost right on the top. I just didn't like that flame beating the top of my wood stove up. Somebody said to put a fan back in behind it. I think that would help. I have not seen anything get cherry red since I started this. So I want to sit here and mess with this and see how hot I can even get this thing. I'd like to see if I could get this hot enough to, like I said, put a, like a steel tin can in there with some aluminum cans and see if they'd melt. But I don't know if, it, I, don't know if I can get there definitely feel safer with that. I could sit here. I don't have to worry about that melting down. All right, I've been messing with it a little bit. Now I'm really throwing some heat now. And my exhaust still hasn't turned cherry red. Even the flame deflector up there isn't cherry red. I definitely think so far it's a lot safer. It's definitely ripping. Let me see what kind of temperatures I'm getting now. I've been messing with it a little bit. Just open my oil up a little bit more, turn the air up a little more. Like, now normally I probably won't have to run it this hot. I just want to see how hot I can get it. Still think my flame deflector maybe should have been just taller or higher. Maybe, maybe a flat piece of metal instead. I might redo that. Definitely saving the top of my wood burner. And that thing is blasting some heat now. Let's see here. This is the brake rotor. Still only 300 degrees. The exhaust goes right up to almost 600. And then inside there, the exhaust is 680, 700 degrees. In front of my wood burner there, six, 700 degrees. It's hot. I wish I knew what that metal was inside there, but I don't think my laser goes through. It don't go through that glass. I mean, it looks like it does, but there's no... That pipe's starting to get red down there now. Yeah, under almost a thousand degrees again. Getting just a little bit hot. I still, still think it's a little scary. Not as scary as it was with that exhaust, but starting to get cherry... That's like five sixteenth of an inch steel getting cherry red. That is well, the metal next to it is a thousand degrees, nine hundred degrees. That sucker is ripping. It is hot. I think it seems like it's burning really good now that I got it really, really heated up. I turned my fan way, way back down and it's still running nice. Kind of a nice temperature right there. It's hot. It's showing temperatures closer to the top of that, like almost close to melting aluminum cans. I really think I could do it if I shot that flame right into a steel can with aluminum in it. I think it's real. It's like this close to being able to do that. Now it looks like that that metal, my little roof I built in there, my flame deflector, I'm calling it, is cherry red. I cleaned all the fire bricks off inside there. Let me take you outside real quick and show you what the exhaust looks like. I know it's perfectly clean. 
Oh, see my new, my different truck? If anybody watches my truck videos, oh yeah, look at that. You can't see hardly any exhaust, just heat. Nothing coming out of there. That's clean. All right, well, thanks for watching. Throw me a comment down below. Let me know what you think I could do to this to improve this or change something or make it safer. I don't know, whatever you think. I, I mean, I've showed people down here. People get a little wound up down there. This is the least of my worries. Like that dog dish is like 260 degrees. Ness is with it burning at like it's hottest. It really doesn't get that bad. Now the brake rotor does get hot, but I mean, I'm not too worried about that. Normally I ain't gonna run it that hot, so I think I had it running real hot for about five, 10, maybe five minutes, that's it. All right, well, thanks for watching. Give this video a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. Like I said, just throw something down there, see what you think I could do to change this. Uh, hit that subscribe button to help support my channel. Watch one of the other three, four videos I have on this used oil burner. God bless and stay warm.